26-year-old Matthew Rugamba got his start in fashion trying to modernize the traditional kitenge, loincloth common across East Africa. At his house of Tayo in Kigali, the Rwanda designer has expanded into African outfits and accessories with a contemporary twist. Rugamba says he is inspired by the looks of the 1960s and the era of African independence, especially the styles of former Congolese Prime Minister Patrice Lumumba and the U.S. civil rights activist Malcolm X. If you look at the 1960s, um, that time when the independent independence movements were, were picking up, that was the perfect blend of West and, and African style because You'd see Patrice Lumumba wear, you know, like the bow ties and and suits, but you'd see him wear like a leopard skin or some sort of print. And I really, that sort of aesthetic really caught my eye, and um, and I and I use that as some as the foundation for this brand. As Rugamba's designs find bigger audiences abroad, he is determined to keep manufacturing local, producing all of his accessories through a Kigali-based women's cooperative where seamstresses say they have a voice in design. When he first proposed the designs to us, we had trouble adapting and then we got used to it. He shares his ideas with us and accepts our ideas. Eventually, it became good. The unique designs that House of Tayo brings will now go hand in hand with the enthusiasm people have for these new products, beginning with the loincloths. Recently, fewer people are buying imported second-hand products. Most of Rugamba's high-end designs are too expensive for much of the local market. As he looks to expand from East Africa to North America, he says his number one goal is to make House of Tayo products more affordable for everyone. Salam Salomon for Maurice Mogherini, VOA News.